Welcome to Roland DG Australia's video support series. Today we'll be looking at the special colour plate generation function in Roland's VersaWorks Jewel RIP software. This particular function is for use with printer models running special colours like white and gloss. Now as you can see I've already got a job loaded in the queue so we'll double click on that to open our job settings window. Now you can see the layout for VersaWorks Jewel is very similar to VersaWorks. One of the key differences is the special color tab down the bottom left hand side of the screen. Now if we click on that you'll notice that the functions are actually disabled at the moment so what we'll need to do uh, is select a special color print mode from our quality tab. So we'll head into the quality tab and in the mode field select one of the special color modes. In this instance we'll go for the white and CMYK mode. So now if we head back down to our special color tab you'll notice the functions have now been enabled. Now what we'll do we'll zoom in so we can see a little clearer what's actually happening when we apply the data. So firstly we have the generate special color plate checkbox and if we select that it will give us our options. Now the first option is print area and you can see that the special color data which is represented by these pink diagonal lines has now been applied to the pre-existing print data in the image. So I'll just deselect that box and you can see that the data disappears. And we select again and there you can see that that special color data has been applied to the image. So this can be sent as an undercoat or an overcoat to the image file. The second option is to apply the data outside the print area. So if we select that you can see the data has now been applied everywhere where there is no pre-existing print data. And the third and final option is to add the data to the entire image. So we can see now that the special color data has been provided as a, as a flood coat, if you will, across the entire image uh, within the boundaries. Now we have uh, a density adjustment option as well. Now this is a li little difficult to show on screen but you can see by default the density is set to 100%. So if we change that to 50%, you can see the data itself becomes a lighter shade of pink. And if we reduce that even further, it's now almost imperceptible. So obviously, as I said, this is very difficult to show on screen and, and you'll need to do uh, some testing to ensure you know the density of the data is or the or the special ink is correct um, but a very easy way to play around and make sure you're getting it exactly how you like it. Now we've got some correction tools uh, down the bottom here so firstly we have the position correction which will actually allow you to correct any misalignment of the color, uh, whether that be down to calibrations in your machine. So you can actually apply a correction to the horizontal or the vertical position of the data itself. And then you can do a test print to ensure that it's correct before you proceed with your print. Uh, and the final correction tool you have is for the size of the data itself. So this allows you to increase or decrease the data, which can compensate for bleed in a particular type of media, 
or if you prefer for the special color data to be inset from the CMYK data. And once again, you have the test print function to make sure everything is the way you want it to be before you proceed with your printing. Thank you for watching and good luck with your prints.